So the last few days, um, one of the things that we've been dealing with, of course, are uh, schedules, okay? Um, and using different types of schedules to do what we need to do. And in the next couple of days, we'll use a couple of other features and schedules to help us what we're going to do now. But um, you should have this file, ADCG 256, um, the detail view drawings. And I can go ahead and just go save as, and naturally, um, this first thing I should be saving is with my initials. So I'm just going to hit an underscore and JDH. All right. Okay. So under, um, well, we'll give it a second. Under here, under the um, project browser, um, we're used to dealing with plans, uh, elevations, and uh, we've dealt with schedules. We'll talk a little bit about legends and what they are as well. But um, there's some other things that uh, aren't showing here that we can start to create. And under, again, the View tab, you have this function here. It's called Drafting View. And Drafting View, it creates a view showing details that are not associated with the building model. And the reality is, is that sometimes um, we are always going to uh, draw things 3D in Revit. But every single view, you know how some of the views we create call-out views, like over here, right? We create call-out views. But this drafting view is a 2D drawing view, and you're like, oh, what's the point of drawing 2D? Well, Revit doesn't really permit us to draw a lot of extreme, extreme D. I mean, we can draw some high-end detail, but sometimes we just need something quickly, perhaps from an old project. Or perhaps one of your jobs will be converting uh, old AutoCAD drawings, 2D details, into Revit drafting views. Because one of the other things we're going to talk about is transferring um, things from one Revit file to another. That's probably something you haven't really gotten into yet either. So if, watch what happens when I click on drafting view. Automatically it asks me for a name of the view. And I'm going to call this one wall section 01, right? And um, this particular detail, um, you know, you can choose about any scale you want. Now, naturally, I wouldn't use one of these 1 equals 80, 100, 60. Um, no, I'm looking for something in the neighborhood of probably 1 inch equals maybe uh, um uh, half inch equals a foot, three quarters equals a foot, or one inch equals a foot. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use one inch equals a foot. The default is one and a half inch equals a foot. But I'm going to click on one inch equals a foot and hit OK. What this does, it changed my view from all of a sudden the level view, which is the eighth inch equals a foot. It changed this wall section view to one equals one inch equals one foot. Over here, now I have what? a new category called drafting views. And drafting views are good because I can eventually pull them onto sheets and we'll get into that as well. But what am I gonna do in this wall section drafting view? Am I gonna just start drawing? And if I was gonna start drawing, where would I do that? Well, obviously under the annotate tab, I have a lot of features that allow me to draw. And we're gonna use several of these, but we're also going to use um, a few things that we've used before which are called um, detail families. And you'll see what I mean by that in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out uh, if I've got some files where my work is already done and I don't necessarily want to um, draw it all over again, if I go to the Insert tab, on the Insert tab, there's a feature here called Link CAD. And what it will do is it will link a CAD file to the current Revit project. So under the Insert tab, um, I can click Link CAD, right? And under your, um, you've downloaded those three AutoCAD files, but under here, if I click on this AutoCAD file, Wall Section 1, it gives some options here. And I want to show you what I mean by options. If you look at colors, it says Preserve, right? I could make sure everything came in black and white, though. Same thing with layers, right? I can say um, bring in all layers or all visible layers, or then I can say specify what layers I bring in. I'm just going to click all. 
import units, I'm going to say auto detect what is coming from the unit, what's coming from the file, which is mean is it unitless, is it inches, is it feet, is it meters, is it centimeters? And then under positioning, there's auto origin to origin or center to center. Origin to origin is fine. And I'm saying it doesn't give me an option to place at a level. But if I was bringing in a floor plan, I would want to perhaps place a floor plan at a level. But since it's a drafting view, I'm not going to do that right now because I can also link a CAD file to a level view as well. But since it's a drafting view, this option and oriented view is taken away. Correct lines that are slightly off axis, uh, you know, it, 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 it will straighten up a line that maybe is a little off, okay? So now I'm just going to hit open. And once I hit open, it's like, where is everything? Uh, where'd it go? I don't see anything. Well, in this view, if I hit on my keyboard, ZE, for zoom extents, there's my view, okay? And what that is, is just what it looks like. It is an AutoCAD view that was bought in. So you're like, Joel, well, you know, you've got this view in here. Aren't you done? Can't you drag this onto a sheet? And I would tell you, sure, yes, you can. But that's not how you would want to do things. You would actually want to use the Revit line work to draw what you need to draw. And eventually that's what you want because you don't want to use Revit. Uh, you don't necessarily want to use AutoCAD in Revit unless you're just in such a hurry that you can't um, actually... Uh, take the time to draw this. But in most cases, we're going to take the time to draw what's here with Revit components because, again, this is just a link. Now, I could have inserted this in here as well, but I did not want to do that. The nice thing is, though, is I'm going to be able to use this to draw and do what I need to do. And we're going to show what that is in the next video, okay?